There's a lot of expensive tech on Amazon. Let's take a look at them. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me home Oh, just let me home Hey guys, what is going on? It's Ben again, and like I said in the intro, there is a lot of expensive tech on Amazon. Overpriced, insane prices. And these are not the most expensive items in general on Amazon. I'll probably do a whole nother video on that. That's not tech related, but this is a tech YouTube channel. So let's do it, shall we? Let's start off with a 2.4 gigahertz wireless gaming mouse. That's $3,000. So it is available in black and in a very lovely red. I'll probably click that to show you guys. It is quite seemly. I really like the red tone, but okay, here's some, are you ready for some really bad English? I'm glad you are. The wireless mouse is ergonomic design, high precision optical mouse, on off switch, 10 meter connection links, and requires two AAA battery. English, indeed. There's not really much I can say about this mouse. It's a $3,000 mouse. In comparison, my MX Master cost $100. Some mouses cost $70. Some mouses cost $30. And this mouse cost $3,000. There's not much I can say about this, so let's move on. Okay, so this next item on this list of increasingly incre increasing tech is a trackball keyboard. That costs $12,825. That's all I can say about this. This laptop right here comes with a keyboard, so I don't even need to buy one. But my, but when I turn this laptop into a desktop, that I'll be showing you my setup later, uh, I had to, in fact, buy a keyboard for this. I'll, I'll be doing an unboxing on that. Let's be sure to come on the channel. Stay tuned for that. But this is a $12,825.65 keyboard. It has 8.2 feet of cable. It uses USB to interact. And yeah, is there really much I can say else about this? It is $12,000 keyboard. Why would you need that much for a keyboard? I bought a $10 keyboard. It does the same thing as a $10 keyboard. It types out things. Okay, I'm ranting too much. Let's move on to the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the most expensive DSLR you can buy for money on Amazon. Three star review, $31,367 out of your pocket. And, I don't know, it's just, look at all these beautiful pictures. I mean, here's some DSLRs under $700. I'll probably be doing a flip side of this video where I show off the most underpriced stuff on Amazon, but for now, this is the most overpriced, and this is the most overpriced DSLR. After doing hours of research searching for the most expensive DSLR, I found it, and it's 30 k out of your pocket. I mean, I'm assuming it's pretty good quality. It's got a 37.5 megapixel mirrorless digital camera, 3-inch LCD. I'd say it's pretty good. And it was discontinued by the manufacturer, so it's only here on Amazon, but hey, it's much better in its class. So, should you buy it? Nah, I'm pretty sure there are much better quality DSLRs for much cheaper. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the most expensive iPhone case. It's... $3,000. Perfect fitting cover protects your iPhone 5C. Fits iPhone 5C. Image printing with high quality materials lasts long, not fade. Completely accesses to all control buttons without removing its case. Perfectly fit. $3,000. I mean, there's really not much else to say. It's just a $3,000 case, so... I mean, like I said, I've seen otter boxes cheaper than this. I've seen, like, the most durable cases in the world cheaper than this. But hey, I guess that's just one, right? Let's move on. This is an HDMI cable, has USB uh, with a KVM cable with audio amp and mic, one pack. Will set you back about $27,000. And I've seen like $1,000 HDMI cables, but I've never seen uh, this one that's ridiculously overpriced. I hope and pray that they had this mixed up because there's no chance I would pay for a $27,000 HDMI cable. It's a digital signal that's transferring to your TV or your monitor or something, and these this this cable is costing $27,000, and yet it just transfers the same connection that a $3.50 HDMI to HDMI cable would. Now, my HDMI to HDMI cable that I use on this laptop when I connected up to my monitor came bundled in with my monitor, so 
yeah, I can see that it's gold plated. That probably boosted the price a little, but come on, guys. You can be smarter with your money. Spend it on something good. That's me. Let's move on. Beats headphones. They are expensive enough on their own. We've seen $400 Beats, $500 Beats, then the specialized ones like the Lady Gaga Beats and the Justin Bieber Beats. But this is just crazy. A Beats Solo 2 wired on-ear headphone, Hunter Green, that's certified refurbished, not new, will set you back about $5,555.55. <sighs> Seriously, I, I again hope and pray that this is just a mistake that was made. I would not want to spend $5,000 on headphones. Why would you spend this much on headphones? This, I just hope that this is another Amazon mistake. There's not much I could, else I could say about this. They're headphones. From Beat, from Beats by Dre, that cost this much. Amazon, you need to fix your price system. It's just crazy. This is a laptop that has been engineered to be tough. It's made by Panasonic, and it's extra ruggedized to, you know, handle tubs and tumbles of, ev of our everyday lives. But when it sets you back $34,000, you wonder why you've even bought it. And it's by Panasonic! They're selling this for $34,000! Let's read the one customer review that is available. You know what I like more than materialistic objects? knowledge and it features a picture of him at the library how lovely thank you very much christian bueno anyway like i said this is a thirty four thousand dollar laptop i could buy a bunch of curved displays the most expensive in class 4k displays and yet they'd be cheaper than this i could buy a full-on setup that would be better than this and be less expensive. And yes, it's 2.4 gigahertz, 4 gigabytes LP DDR3 SD RAM, 500 gigabytes of heart of your hard drive, and 13.1 inches screen. But for all that, for $35,000, I don't think so. This is a $5,000 phone. No kidding. It's made by Tonino Lamborghini, Mobile 88 Tari. Well, it's yeah, it's made by Lamborghini, and. It's a 4G Android phone, it's international version, no warranty, and it combines latest technology and striking unique design with the finest materials. It claims to have up to 35 hours of battery life, which is not bad if you think about it. Uh, Snapdragon 801, 2.3 gigahertz, 3 gigabytes of RAM, and 64 gigs of storage. 5 inch 1080p display, nice and crispy, and it runs KitKat with premium Wolfson sound. This already sounds like an amazing phone, but for 5000 box you can easily spend your money somewhere else but still that's not denying this is still a great phone like let's look at that back like, just look at the back it's so premium i would totally buy that if i had the money but i guess we can only hope and wish this tv will set you back seventy five thousand dollars eighty so a 58 inch tv from this company will set you back eight thousand dollars sixty five inch i don't think uh, it doesn't say anything but eighty four inch tv from toshiba a 4k ultra hd display will set you back seventy five thousand two hundred and twenty dollars i i still don't understand why people spend this much on gadgets like i would not i would rather spend my money on a different tv like i don't like i said i don't actually watch that much tv i prefer to just i mean I get news from the web, and I watch, like, movies and cartoons and stuff on my laptop. But, but I actually watch a lot of YouTube on my phone, so I don't watch much TV. But I would easily spend my money somewhere else. I'm not spending $75,000 on TV. Would you spend $75,000 on TV? Please let me know. This Audemars Piggott Royal Oak Torbullion 41 Extra Thin Rose Gold Watch 20 will set you back 122 thousand dollars hmm that reminds me of another expensive watch that's crazily overpriced oh yeah the apple watch edition this is crazy price and it's got 20 customer reviews let's look at them shall we so asking peasants for the time the guy at the bus terminal are mad jelly over it wow <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, you guys can read the, you can pause the video and read these, they're, they're hilarious, but, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna probably want to read them after the video, but if you want to read them, pause the video and check them out, they're hilarious, but, yeah, let's move on. This is a drone that will set you back 10 grand, so, and, and I just actually just saw a $13 drone while browsing Amazon yesterday, and then, hey, I found this $10,000 drone. So it's got a 5-in-1 charger, a 720, 720mAh battery. It looks pretty cool. I wonder if it has a camera. So I'm just looking at all the different pictures of it. And from what I know... Oh, actually there is a camera, so... Yeah, I guess that's one good thing you can say about it. I don't know. I think I'll pass on this one if... Because I will, I mean, it's only got a 2 megapixel camera. I see cameras with 4K resolution. On drones, and then I see that are like one thousand dollars, and then I see this one for ten thousand. I don't know. I think it's time to move on to the most expensive item that I found on all of Amazon. This is a robot, and specifically, it's a Techno Best Friend robot by Sakura, the first robot designed for girls. She gives compliments, answers yes or no questions, and even keeps your secrets and records your secrets. She'll never tell anyone. And she dances to five different songs. But what makes this stand out over the rest? It cost one quadrillion dollars. One quadrillion dollars. Why would you spend this much on anything? Apple bought Beats for cheaper than this at three billion dollars. Some of the most expensive things cost less than this. A most exp a really expensive car from W Motors, the Science Super Sport, with diamond encrusted headlights. It's cheaper than this stupid robot. Why would you spend one quadrillion dollars on this? I cannot get over this. I've been thinking about this all week. Why would you do this much? I I can't think about this anymore. I'm I'm yeah. Oh my God! There's customer reviews. Yay. Well, <laughs> wow. I, I think this is, the Amazon customer made a perfect point. Very cute, but not worth this much money. <sighs> I'm going to probably have to stop this video here. If you guys want me to do another extremely expensive tech on Amazon, please let me know in the comments below. I'm, yeah, in the comments below. Let me know if you want to see another. And, uh, guys, if you want to see another one of these videos, leave a like. Add it to your favorites. It helps out this channel a lot. And if you're really feeling generous, click that subscribe button. Anyways, guys, see you guys in the very next one.